Hi everyone, welcome to another video. It has been some time since I've posted a video, some time being over a year. Yeah, we'll get to that later on. <laughs> uh, but today's video I thought I'd share my process or some of, some of my process of working on my Game of Shrooms piece for this year. So if you haven't heard, there's this thing called Game of Shrooms. It's an annual worldwide hide and seek for art particularly mushroom art. You can find out more information about it. I'm not associated with it at all other than participating. It's a nice community event for artists. I participated last year actually and it was really fun. I did a painting. I'll post some pictures. I hid it in a park area and my partner came with me. He helped me get the sticks to hold it up because I didn't have anything to hold my artwork up. It was a, um, a canvas board that I had painted a mushroom on and I didn't think of how I was actually going to hold the piece up so people could see it. So luckily I had him with me and he gathered some sticks and stuck it in the ground for me which was really nice. And yeah, so Game of Shrooms is an event, like I said, where you do mushroom art, you hide it. And yeah, they have a website, which I'll link in the description, where they have a map. If you participate as an artist, you can drop a pin on that map, which is a little mushroom, of where you'll be hiding the art so people can find it or have an idea of where to find it. You're meant to post on your social media saying, you know, amping people up and giving them hints as to where they can find it in your area. So I think it's a really cool event and I am really looking forward to participating in it this year. Now I will say one thing before getting right into this video. Uh, there are parts that are natural speed, so like not sped up. And in those parts you may notice that I shake a lot. I have a hand tremor. So, well not just a hand tremor, my whole body has a tremor, but you can mainly see it in my hands. It's rather light when I was filming this video, so it's not too severe, but if you do notice me shaking, just be aware <laughs> I have a tremor, and that's all it is. It's just a tremor. So the process, I, I didn't really have much of an idea as to what I wanted this piece to look like. I still was just going with the flow, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. As you can see here, I am working on a embroidery slash acrylic piece. It's a bit of textile art rather than 2D sort of painting on a board or something like that. It's got a bit of embroidery, a bit of different material and some acrylic paint. I've been really getting into textile work lately. So that's what inspired this piece. I don't know if I'll be doing one or more pieces for this year. Last year I did the one piece only. And I think, I think I'll be doing one piece this year. I'm not sure. I might, I'd like to do more than one really, but we'll see how we go. So at this point I have glued some different material onto some material in an, in an embroidery hoop. And then I did some embroidery around that to secure it. It was actually glued to the blue piece. The red and spotty cream piece was glued to the blue piece, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then I did embroidery around it and those accent embroidery pieces on the sides and the little green bits at the base of the mushroom. Then I painted some white lines where I wanted the yellow lines to go because basically the paint didn't interact with the fabric very well. So I had to do a base of a white line with paint to get the orange to show up on the blue. Then I painted the hoop black to really pop out the artwork. And this whole thing was a huge process. I have never really done anything like this before. I've done some embroidery, but not including like acrylic paint and gluing pieces down and that sort of thing. It was just like pure embroidery on fabric. Uh, this was a bit more um, mixed media, I guess you'd call it. So we'll go into a bit as to why I've taken a break from YouTube, I guess. 
YouTube for me has always been a hobby. It hasn't really been much of anything else. It I've never really wanted to make money off it or do all that. All, all I do with my art is share it. I don't want to profit off it. I don't want to make it a money generating thing. I have been on and off with YouTube since I started YouTube back in 2015, I think it was. And I was pretty heavy on it but back then. I posted a lot of videos actually, tutorials, draw with me's, um, speed paints, all that sort of stuff. Some even some studio vlogs and all that sort of stuff and yeah, I, I've taken most of those down now because they just don't suit who I am today, I guess you'd say. I, I don't know really know how to put it. And I really uh, I'm really not happy with how those videos are with the editing and everything, like technically speaking. But yeah, these I have six videos up before this one that I am okay with having up. So I've kept those ones, but the other ones I've taken down and I really would like to get back into YouTube on a more regular basis. Um, not not for profit, just, just to purely enjoy making videos, sharing my art, you know, talk to you guys, you know, be a part of the art community online. Yeah, so it's been over a year since I posted the video before this one, which was a sketchbook tour. I mean, I have motivation to make videos rarely, so it's when when I do, it's usually a TikTok or something that's quite quick and short form. I'd absolutely love to get back into YouTube and uh, make long form videos and see how I go with all that again. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this video. If you think, and I know the setup isn't great. It the lighting was a bit off. I had to do a bit of editing with that. I need to get my skills up again, really, because it's been a very long time since I did a proper video. I'm looking at getting some better desk lighting. I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but I've got little stands that I can use for lighting. At the moment, I'm currently using those flip out auto lights, daylight bulb things, but they're not great. I mean, they are good lights, but they're not like proper filming lights or anything. But yeah, back to the piece. Like I said before, I didn't really have a plan with going into it. But I knew I wanted to do a mushroom, which obviously is what I did. And that was the whole theme of it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the rest, the elements in the piece, I sort of just let come as they came, I guess. I got stuck at one point, like, before I did the acrylic and the black embroidery, I got really stuck as to what to add to it. And then I had this brilliant idea to take a photo of the, the piece and do some drawing on my iPad as to what I might add to it. So I wasn't doing anything permanent to the piece, but I could change things and try things as I saw fit. And it really helped. And this at, at that point, I was like, oh, I could do acrylic on, you know, fabric. And I could add this and I could add that. And I actually took a test piece of the blue background piece, like in fabric. And I did some the paint on that prior to painting on it just directly, like going for it. So that um, that helped a lot. That actually made me realize I needed to do the white under the orange before just going for the orange because the orange just would have gone on the blue and it would have made like a, it, it made like a dark reddy bluey, like greeny color. And then finishing the piece, I was like, okay, so embroidery, they usually do that background thing um, where they glue down, because I, I don't do a huge amount of embroidery. But um, they glue down the excess fabric. And I didn't know how to do the back. I didn't want to just leave the back of the embroidery the way it was. Because it's a bit messy. Um, I'm not the, you know, perfect embroiderer. <laughs> and yeah, so I cut the excess off. I glued it, whatever was left, to the ring. 
and then I decided well to cover it what I'll do is I'll cut out a circle of like card and glue that to what like what stuck up of the ring and I yeah so I chose to do that and then last year when I did Game of Shrooms I made a sticker for the back of my painting and I figured I'd just do the same well basically the same thing with this year make a sticker that went on the card that went on the back of this embroidery piece so um, in this video you'll see me designing that sticker and yeah so when we get to that I'll talk about that So here we have the screen grab of my screen as I'm designing the sticker for the back of the piece. I'm using Clip Studio Paint for my drawing program and I love this program, I swear by it. Uh, this sticker is, well the design of it is heavily influenced from last year, except last year was a rectangle so I had to sort of fit it all into a circle and a smaller circle at that. But yeah, it was fun to do. The whole the whole thing was fun to do. It was quicker than I thought it would be, but also more involved than I thought it would be, if that makes sense. Like I said before, I'm really not sure if I'm just going to be doing the one piece for this year or possibly two or three. I'd love to do three, but it's what? 
the 15th of May filming this now, so it's under a month away. I'll see how I go. I, I might do like a painting or like a watercolour piece. I just have to see. I've already picked out where I'm going to be hiding my artwork. Not the specific place, because that obviously depends on how many pieces I have as well. But yeah, there's a lovely park and that, that I found and I plan on hiding my art there on the day. With the sticker on the back, I wanted it to look like I had handwritten it, even though it was printed and all that sort of stuff. But technically, I handwritten it because it was a digital thing that I drew. But I wanted it to look organic, so I didn't do any harsh lines, like straight with the circle I redrew it. And um, But yeah, the handwritten words and all that sort of stuff, I thought that looked a bit lot better and a lot more welcoming than just typed. So then I printed the sticker and cut it out and peeled it back and stuck it onto the card I stuck to the back of the embroidery, well, the piece. I keep saying it's embroidery, but it's really like more than that. <laughs> Yeah, let me know if you're participating in Game of Shrooms this year and where you are in the world. I probably wouldn't be able to find your art. There's not a lot of people in my area doing it, unfortunately, well, according to the map. So, yeah, I hope wherever you are in the world and you are participating that your art is found and it's an awesome experience. Last year when my art was found, I was so happy. The person that found it said that it made their day and I by knowing that it made their day it made my day so that was that was fun so yeah like and comment this video if you feel you want to and I will hopefully be bringing out another video sometime soon I really am planning I'm not planning on it like you know paperwork planning where it's like all regimented and like all that sort of stuff I I'm planning in the way of wanting to and sort of having an idea in my head as to coming back to YouTube in a way so that's exciting and I'm really excited to be looking at doing it again planning on coming back not guaranteeing not that it really matters anyway <laughs> it's more my enjoyment than anything just to like share my artwork and get it out there and hopefully inspire some people to do the same if not just draw or be creative because I love that stuff Anyway, I'm rambling. Hope you guys have a good day or night, whatever time it is when you're watching this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.